So just make sure you are you know, well supported where you're sitting. So your back has a, a, a good support and is both supported and free. And the intention is to to sit and to use the principles, the qualities, the living qualities of Tai Chi to reveal you know, a deeper, more true aspect of ourselves. That first movement is to come out of history, you know, out of the past or out of the future into the present moment. And we can do that by a sense of now and sense of nowness. So feel now. Or another very simple way is that we can, you know, join the body which is now. And so sensing that part of the body that is touching the earth is a very grounded place. Go through your feet. Just bringing your awareness to the, you know, the base of your spine, to this bowl of the pelvis. And just sensing the, the line of your spine, the, the distance from your tail to your top of your head. And that simple understanding that you, know, you want the head to be free and balanced. You might want to just try finding a fresh balance point. You might want to you know, take a look at the chest and the shoulders. So that middle part of the spine is also balanced. And without being too rigid or formal, just sensing a, a, 
or allowing or discovering poise. Poise is a very enjoyable feeling. And there is this knowing of the the sequence, which is that sooner or later, we want to, from this place of presence, we begin to explore where is their tension. And just with that understanding of not finding the tension, but looking for tension from the point of view of relaxation. And that tension then responds to that understanding and knowing without me having to do anything. First, I'm looking for physical tension. Physical tension almost certainly is there because of mental tension. So where I really want to bring this knowing of softening is to my mind. I want to soften the grip. I want to unwind the string. And the place of natural releasing is on the out-breath. Just let your mind, as it were, breathe out. And when you breathe in, you're just breathing into that place of tension in the mind. And then breathe out. So you're present. in the body
And you have this you know, intention to relax. Some days you have a busy mind and some days you don't. It's irrelevant. You know, it's the tone. So if you have a busy mind, then you're just still going to relax. But you also have an understanding that sooner or later you're going to move or allow or explore this third quality. Or you're looking for that movement, natural movement that leads you to the third quality. which you could say is compassion. You know, maybe this is a bad day for a meditation. And so I allow compassion. And that compassion allows me to soften. And that softening allows me to be present. So as you breathe in on your next in-breath, whenever you're aware of that, just let yourself breathe into your heart center. Come closer to your heart center. And as you breathe out, soften whatever is in the way. Anything you can think about this is not it. And so from here, just take a look. You know, take a look at the weather, the weather system as it were inside. With this uh, understanding just to see, well, who can be present now that couldn't be present before? 
or what quality is present now that wasn't present before. And so then we start again. And coming to the bowl of the pelvis. And perhaps in a more hearted way, you know, feeling as we breathe into the pelvis as we breathe into the, the sort of fulcrum, the center of our physicality. And let yourself be touched by that. Sometimes something can settle deeper. And in order for it to settle deeper, there is an allowing, a softening, a surrendering. And the mind is like a, you know, a flower that feels the sun and starts to open. And whether that opening is a 1% or whether it's 80%, it's a good feeling. So enjoy. Appreciate. Appreciate it for what it is. Perhaps rather than what you want it to be. And that's heart.
and heart appreciates what is. And when something is appreciated, it it grows. And wherever you happen to be, you might want to just have a listen to your environment. And more often than not, you'll find something resonating with you. One of my current understandings is that no matter where we are, whether we're in the heart of the city or in the country, sooner or later we are surrounded by trees. And nature, because it's not separate, is already where we want to be. So this quality of the principles brings us to our nature. It's what sometimes I call that secret self. That place of original goodness and natural wisdom. One of my teachers used to talk about it as the place of golden intent. All intentions from this place are golden. So perhaps amidst the 
judgments that we naturally have, perhaps disappointments, Underneath it is this place. And if you just look into that quality, you will see that it is present, it is fluid, and it is hearted. And not isolated, but in relationship. And just being aware of this, what quality can be here now that perhaps was not there before or unknown to you. Or what aspect of yourself can now be seen or experienced or present. that whilst it might have been there before, you weren't aware of it. There was no space for it. And you know, whatever that is, whatever quality or you know, aspect of self that is there, you know, as we come out, as we I don't like the word to finish the meditation because it never finishes. This process never finishes. That's an illusion. But as we move from the formal to the informal, we're just allowing that place to bridge into what comes next. check that you're you know, present, embodied. Now, there's a feeling of flow of some kind and whatever is happening that there is some degree of you know, engagement with heart. Thank you.